Chateau Musard has often been called a cult wine by the world press and within international wine circles. Is it thanks to the wines that have remained true to themselves, despite the challenges posed by Lebanon's tumultuous past? Or the world trend towards a more uniform taste? Is it the maverick winemaker who engraved his genius fingerprint on Musard since 1959? Or is it thanks to the traditions and values of a close-knit family? It's all of that, but let's not forget the land where it all began. Lebanon, where the Phoenicians cultivated the vines 6,000 years ago, is host to the Beka Valley and Baalbek, where wine has been omnipresent throughout history. From the Phoenicians who exported wine to the Egyptians out of the port of Byblos, to the Romans who built the Bacchus temple in Baalbek, the land of milk and honey has never been short on wine. And the story goes on, at the heart of the Bekar Valley, where the red vineyards of Chateau Musard ripen. Surrounded by the Lebanon and anti-Lebanon chain of mountains, Chateau Musard's red grapes mature at an altitude of 1,000 meters on silt limestone soils, only 35 kilometers east of Beirut. Blessed by cold nights and dry weather, the Bekar Plain enjoys a unique microclimate. What we are doing here is weeding, removing the bad herbs that compete with the vines and take nutrients and water. Second, at the same time, those bad weeds are habitat for insects, and eliminating them will eliminate all the insects that will come and attack the vines. And third thing, they will become organic manure. At an altitude of 1,500 meters, Uzar's white grapes, Lebanese indigenous Merwa and Abeda varieties grow on stony chalk soils. With these grapes, Chateau Musard not only offers unique white wines, but it also preserves a heritage of more than 6,000 years. Enjoy your tour at Chateau Musard.